Thank you so much for starting your day with us. Let's get a check of your top stories this morning. Looking at the latest COVID numbers across Indiana, new daily cases across the state remain high. 2,787 cases reported yesterday. The total now rising past 182,000 cases and the death toll increased to over 4,120 after 28 more Hoosiers died. Here in Allen County, 151 new positive cases. The total increased to more than 9,600 and the death toll stands at 235. Early voting across the country is at an all time high. A majority of states have been reporting a record early voting turnout in 2020, including right here in Fort Wayne. Voting officials say in 2016, only 30,000 people voted early and there were 10,000 mail in ballots. Also saying most people voted on election day. If you want to vote early, today's your last chance. Voting will be open from 8 this morning to noon at the Coliseum. CityLink will offer free rides to the polls for any voter that's in need of one. CityLink is partnering with AWS Foundation to cover those fares. Officials say they hope this will encourage people to get out and vote. Free rides will be offered to anyone who gets on the bus, and you can head over to FortWayne'sNBC.com for more information about bus routes and polling locations. In DeKalb County, a man is behind bars after police say he strangled and killed his wife. The Waterloo Marshal's office responded to the 500 block of Meadows Lane for a welfare check on Saturday. When they arrived, they met the suspect, Joseph Traster. Traster told police he was arguing with his wife and strangled her and then went to bed. When he woke up, he says he found his wife was, quote, cold to the touch. Police located Heiser's body inside the home and Traster is facing a murder charge.